auto workers and entertainers are still on strike this morning, but a new deal has been reached for some workers. Writers in Hollywood have been on strike for five months. More than 11,000 Writers Guild of America members have been picketing for a fair contract. Those writers and production studios reach an agreement overnight. In the meantime, actors are still on their picket lines. SAG-AFTRA represents more than 160,000 actors. Those workers have been on strike for more than two months. United Auto Workers are nearing two full weeks on strike. Members want the big three auto bankers to improve pay and benefits and move to a four day work week without cutting pay. 20,000 union members have walked off the job so far. President Joe Biden was in Michigan yesterday to show his support for the union, although his administration says he is not involved in negotiations. Former President Donald Trump is expected on the picket line today. Terre Haute has an interesting and long-standing connection to the labor movement. Political activist and union leader Eugene Victor Debs was born and raised here. Debs was instrumental in forming and leading unions more than 100 years ago. Workers are still fighting for many of the same issues today. I visited his former Terre Haute home, which is now a museum, to learn more about Debs and what he can still teach us today. It's new for you this morning. He was one of the most important labor leaders and organizers in the history of this country. Co-founder of the American Railway Union, leader of the bloody Pullman strike of 1894, co-founder of the American Socialist Party of America, five-time presidential candidate and prisoner, Eugene Victor Debs called this Terre Haute house a home. A real collective effort to preserve this home and its story. Yeah, that's wonderful. Built in 1890, Debs lived his entire adult life here with his wife. It would later be turned into apartments, serve as a frat house before surviving demolition and labeled a National Historic Landmark on the Indiana State University campus. And then our third floor is really the crown jewel on the house. You will love seeing that. Allison Dirk has been leading tours here for eight years. So we're up here right now, there's a street. I plead with everyone who comes to the house to not worry too much about stepping back into 1890 when the house was built or 1920 when Debs ran for president the last time. It is still 2023 and I'm here to ask you to think about why Debs and his ideas and the movement he was a part of are still meaningful and relevant to our lives today. Debs led the labor movement when workers were still asking for union recognition. He ushered in a new form of organizing called industrial unionism. One union for an entire industry, a system still in place today. Because people like us and people like these folks came together. His own opinion on strikes evolved over time. Once thinking them unnecessary in a civilized economy, Debs came to call the strike the workers' final bargaining chip against corporations time and time again proven to be the single strongest weapon that working people have to improve their conditions. Workers now are still pushing for better benefits, pay that keeps up with the cost of living, and even shorter work weeks. And that might sound like a radical idea, but so did the eight hour day over a hundred years ago, which is one of the other key demands that um, strikers who were led by Debs were fighting for too. His is a life story still alive in the United States and on full display inside Terre Haute's Eugene V. Debs Museum. That's how real meaningful change happens is when we come together and demand what's right. Solidarity. And thank you to Jaron West for working with me on this story. Now, Allison is so knowledgeable. She knows so much, gives fantastic tours. And she told me that she came across this museum as she was a student at ISU. Yeah, and it's people like her that makes those museums yeah. what they what they really are and really brings those extra stories that you can't get just by watching it online. Absolutely, and she is encouraging teachers mm -hmm. who may be watching this to plan a tour over there at the museum. It is open most days. It is free, but a $5 donation is also encouraged. It is, of course, located on the ISU campus. You can find all this information again at WTHITV.com. I think that would make for a good field trip. Absolutely. All right, well, check